Over the next few minutes, the Electoral Department will share with you how to vote on Election Day. Once your name is on the voters list, all effort will be made to ensure that you vote. If you do not have a national identification card, you can vote with photo ID such as a passport, driver's license, or any other means which will allow you to be identified to the satisfaction of the presiding officer. Polling stations open at 6.30 a.m. and close at 6 p.m. Please read safety tips posted on walls of the polling station and remember that no cell phones are allowed in the voting booth. How to vote. You must present your ID to the presiding officer who will then check your name against the voters list. The presiding officer will examine your right index finger for electoral ink. If there is no ink, you will be asked to dip your right index finger into the electoral ink. At this point, your name and occupation will be entered into the poll book. After this, you will be issued a ballot and instructed on the correct way to mark and fold the ballot. A new ballot paper Statutory Instrument Number 13 of 2016, displaying, in addition to the candidates' names and symbols, their photographs will be used in the upcoming general elections. A valid ballot should have the initials of the presiding officer on the top right-hand corner. The presiding officer will then direct you to the voting booth where you will mark your ballot. You are to use the black pencil provided in the voting booth to mark your ballot. If you believe you have incorrectly made your mark, tell the presiding officer who, in your presence, will cancel the ballot by writing the word spoilt against the ballot and then issue you with a new one. When you have marked and folded your ballot paper as instructed, you are to leave the voting booth and proceed to the ballot box. The presiding officer will ask you to see the folded ballot to verify that his or her initials is on the ballot. Remember, the ballot should be folded in such a way that your mark cannot be seen only the initials of the presiding officer. The presiding officer will inspect the ballot and verify that the ballot is valid. You will then be asked to place the ballot into the box. After placing the ballot into the ballot box, you are to leave the polling station. Please remember, you will not be allowed to vote if one, if you refuse to give up your cell phone to the presiding officer or poll clerk. Two, if you have electoral ink on your finger before entering the polling station. Or three, if your name is not on the voters list. Please remember that polling stations will be open at 6.30 a.m. and closed at 6 p.m. To vote, is your constitutional right. How to Vote is brought to you by the St. Lucia Electoral Department.